Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today on a Wednesday. The amazing Emily's in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. Good, good. It's kind of cooled down a little bit. We had that horrible hot temperatures over the weekend. Yeah, it's so nice to have a little bit of a relief. I love rainy days personally. Yeah, <laughs> it's really fun. All right, where is everyone watching from? Yeah. Ruth is watching from Olathe, Kansas. And Gloria is from Piedmont, South Carolina. Thanks for watching with us today. And Beth says hi from Philly. <gasps> Philly, one of my top five cities in the country. Is it? I love Philadelphia. <laughs> All right, before we talk about our customer projects, Emily, you had this great thing happen to you last week. Do you want to talk about it? I did. So I had the privilege of going down to the Nebraska Animal Medical Center um, with Justin. And um, with, so Justin's from Memory Stitch, who's one of our sister companies. Yes. Um, they create t-shirt quilts and memory quilts. They do. You can find more information about them at memorystitch.com. You sure can. Yeah. Okay, they go ahead do a fabulous job. So they actually took some remnant fabric um, that's nice, kind of that minky, soft cuddle oh, yes. fabric, and they made dogs, dog beds out of it. Um, Look so at this. We went to the Nebraska Animal Medical Center. That is Damon the doggo. He had to have oh, emergency God. surgery, and so he, luckily, it was perfect timing. He had literally just gotten out, and we were able to put him on this nice, soft, comfy bed. And you can tell he looks very comfy and cozy. Doesn't he look great? <laughs> he does. He does. I love and that. And he has this little cone head. He does. Great. Yeah, he's just so sweet. He got to, um, actually, his owner got to take home that pillow with him too so that he got to like sit on something nice and soft in the car and be nice and comfortable so yeah it was great to partner with the Nebraska That's Animal fun. Medical Center. Thanks for doing that for us and a huge shout out to our sister company Memory Stitch for helping out there. That's yeah. kind of fun. Really um, Memory Stitch makes t-shirt quilts so if you have are, you know it's that time of year where you're looking to make graduation gifts or yeah. kids going off to college now's a really great time to take all those t-shirts that they gathered from you know, junior high school and high school. Oh my gosh, do that. I did one for Mason and for Taylor. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, yeah, really fun. All right, let's showcase the new projects for our intro video. First up is Billy S. With this quilt <gasps> that was made by his mother. Billy <sighs> is a lucky duck. Look at how beautiful that is. Seriously. Emily, do you know what that is? English paper piecing for days. For days. It's called Grandmother's Felt Flower Garden and it's the pattern. But look at the top. So you, this is how you know it's the top uh -huh. because it just has those smaller pieces of the um, English paper piecing. Yeah. So it actually is made, for, it's actually for a bed, like it has a top and a bottom. Oh, how cool is that? No, it's beautiful. I can't even imagine how long it took her to make that. Seriously. Next up, we have Kelly L. Okay, okay, <gasps> Kelly, first of all, who is this darling child in here? Because she is super cute. But she obviously loves her little Minnie Mouse quilt. Seriously. And I'm sure she made it with a cube, right? Just squares and oh, half square triangles. For sure. And I and bet. that cute mini fabric in the end. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I love it. But mostly I love the little kid. All right, last up is Penny W with this gnome pot holder. And Emily, we talked about this. This is like 3D. It is like the 3D beard is just giving me life. It is yeah. so fun. And I love yeah. the little like, is that like a flower or a star in his little flower in his that she probably um, embroidered? Yeah. Right? It's just so clever. So cute. And I love the fabric that's in it. Good job, Penny. We have such clever quilters. Yeah, we really just do. Love it. Okay. Today's show is all about the new number, uh, go two inch classic numbers and symbols die. And today we're gonna make a really fast and easy pillow. Uh, we're gonna use the hashtag from this and we're gonna use um, the letters from the alphabet. So here, oh, here's the pillow. Hashtag quote life. Look at how fun that is. Okay, so here is the photo of the day. So this is a hashtag that I use all the time. It is hashtag AccuQuiltBuilt. Mm -hmm. And Emily, tell our viewers what happens when they use this hashtag. Yeah, so when you post um, a publicly using the hashtag AccuQuiltBuilt, we will give you 250 reward points just for posting that. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Just like yeah. that. <laughs> you just have to make sure it's um, in our social media platform. So like go to our Instagram page or our Facebook or page. Facebook, yeah. Yeah, and just use that hashtag AccuQuiltBuilt. 
and we do it um it's just once a month you can post 10 things if you want we're just gonna right. give you those points once a month so exactly AccuQuilt built okay so do you have a favorite ha oh because the question of the day is do you have a favorite hashtag do you have one you use all the time I think mine would probably be cat lady, hashtag cat lady. <laughs> cat lady. <laughs> Emily has the cutest cat. I am oh, giving Emily. away our cat today. She was up all the night. Oh no. Pearl, I don't know what's going on with Pearl, oh, Pearl. but holy smokes. So free, I, that should be my hashtag free cat. Um, <laughs> we use one, Eric and I all the time called um, hashtag there's a die for that. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing quilting once. So in the comment section, What's your favorite hashtag and why? All right, we want to know. All right, quilters, we have bundles featuring the new Go Numbers and Symbols die, as well as our other die, the Go Mini Stocking die. We released them just two weeks ago. First up is the Go Mini Stocking and Mitten die bundle, which includes the Go Mini Stocking, a five by 10 cutting mat, and our Go Mitten die, both of which are super cute. Next, we have the Go Classic 2-inch Alphabet Numbers and Symbols die bundle. Now, with this one, you'll receive the Go Classic 2-inch Numbers and Symbols, which is on a 10 by 10 die board, so we're going to give you a 10 by 10 mat. The Classic 2-inch Alphabet Uppercase Set die, and it's on a 10 by 24 die board, so we're going to give you a 10 by 24 mat. And last but not least, we have the Go Classic 2-inch Alphabet Projects die bundle. And this one is super fun because you get the classic numbers and symbols die, which is brand new, 10 by 10 cutting mat, the alphabet die, the 10 by 24 mat, then the Go Santa stocking die, the Go Burp cloth die, and the Go Baby Bib die, all of which are great project dies. Seriously. All of these bundles are perfect for getting ahead on your holiday projects. Take advantage of their markdown bundle pricing. Plus, today we're going to give you double reward points on all of your purchases from AccuQuilt.com. Today I'm going to give away one of our Go Numbers and Symbols die. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you'll receive event emails. That, you'll, that way you'll never miss an exciting tutorial. And the amazing Emily will announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show. So this was a, a die that really, once we released the alphabet, people were like, oh, we really want the numbers. And so we added those um, hashtags and those symbols to them. So today's project is the hashtag quilt life pillow. You saw it earlier. The pattern is a free downloadable pattern from AccuQuilt.com. Our good friend um, Terry Van Blush designed the pattern and I actually made the project. Even though it's a pillow, you could certainly make it into a table topper or a wall hanging. Because I feel like some people aren't pillow people, right, Emily? Totally. Right? Some people are just like, oh, I'm not really a pillow person. Erica, the lovely Erica, such a pillow person, okay? <laughs> but think about it, you can make it a table topper, you can make it longer and just make it a table runner. Oh yeah. Then you could put all sorts of hashtags, <laughs> okay? It's a fast and easy project. You could totally make it in a weekend. I made it in an afternoon. And basically it's made with small pinwheels and the large square. Now we're gonna use the five inch cube today for our project, but you could use a larger cube to make your larger project. Maybe you wanna do a table runner. Just make sure you make the adjustments to your fabric requirements, okay? Now, yesterday we had this amazing show all about the five inch cube and the 10 inch cube. Didn't you think it was a great show? We had a blast. I was... We had <laughs> such fun. We have such fun on Tuesdays. So that um, show was all about the cubes. We went through all the shapes in the cube and the companions at corners and angles. So if you missed it, you can go back and watch it. And we have tons of videos on our Facebook and YouTube and website about um, the cubes. So today I am going to just take two shapes from the cube. So first is shape number one from the five inch cube. So this is a finished two and a half inch square. Remember all of our geometric shapes have that quarter inch seam allowance built in, okay? So um, this cuts a three inch square, finishes to two and a half. Yep. And these are tiny little half square triangles. This is shape number five. Now the cool thing is there are eight on the die board and all of them have that quarter inch seam allowance built in. We've cut off the dog ears. 
So as you're cutting your pieces, you don't have to spend the additional time to cut off those dog ears, okay? Yeah. Now for the project, you'll need a total of 96 white and 96 patterned half square triangles. It seems like a lot, not so much. Producer Joe did some math. If you use this die, which has eight shapes, you can cut how many layers, Emily? Six. Six, so six times eight is? 42. 48? 48, oh, 48 right? <laughs> okay, and so just two passes through the cutter, you will have cut all of your half square triangle. Oh, That's so amazing. I can't even tell you how long it would take if you try to cut um, half square triangles with a rotary cutter, okay? Uh, I, I just wouldn't even do it. Okay, and don't forget, all of the videos about our cubes live on our website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube if you want it more in depth, mm -hmm. okay? Now, since we're gonna sew those patterned half square triangles to the white half square triangles, we're gonna cut them together. And let me show you what I did. Emily asked me a great question. So here's my little stack of squares that I'm gonna cut today. You asked me a question. Yeah, are those, are those your scraps? Are those your, you know, did you go buy some more fabric? Or okay, one, I could always buy fabric, but no. <laughs> so this was just scrap fabrics from other projects that I had. Okay. That's so cool. So what I did was I measured um, the shape. I took my ruler, added a quarter of an inch on either side, mm -hmm. and it comes out to about four and three quarter inch squares. But you could totally use charm squares. Oh yeah, the right. Five that inches, finish right? to five inches. So those of you who think, oh, I have this stack of charm squares, I wonder what I should do with them. This is what you should do with them. Okay. That. Now my pro tip is we're gonna since we're gonna sew them together, we're gonna cut them together. So I have this little patterned white. Okay, has little blue dots on it. Mm. So I'm just gonna lay these together over and we're gonna cut a few times with it because you want a variety of fabrics, mm -hmm. right? You don't want just the same eight or six. And okay. I'd just like to point out, Pam, and you know, I did mess up on the math earlier, but in my defense, I was a history major. Hey, me too. <laughs> that is always my defense. I just okay. wanna point that out to the viewers. There we go. <laughs> This is why producer Joe is here, so he can help us do that math on a Wednesday. Exactly. Okay, so I have six layers, and I've put right sides together because I'm just gonna sew them together, okay? And I'm gonna use my Go Big Today, and I could totally cut both shapes together in one pass through the cutter, but I wanna show you a trick on that one so we won't cut them yet, okay? So you need a mat, because what happens without a mat, Emily? Oh, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, so our four, five, six, eight, nine inch cubes will fit through all of our Go Cutters, including the Go Me. So think about that. The 10 and the 12 need a Go Big or a Go. Uh, yeah, Go Big or a Go. All right, so I'm gonna cut these. Emily, tell us what people's hashtags are. I'm dying to know. Okay, so we have Beth says mental health awareness. Oh, that's good. Susan has the cutest dog, so her favorite hashtag is cattle dog pose. That's so fun. <laughs> okay. Cattle dogs are so sweet. Um, Jenny G, hers is mama of two. Oh, that's I cute. I can tell why. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, I have these one little strings, so it's totally messing up my ta-da moment here. Keep going. <laughs> All righty. Um, let's see. Susan E. says she does not like to use hashtags. That's, she doesn't use them personally. But Suzanne's, the only hashtag I ever use is AccuQuilt Built because I have made lots of pretties with my cube and other dyes. There you go. There you go. That's fabulous. I feel like there are lots of people who like aren't on social media, but I think hashtags are super fun. They are. They can be so silly, too, and just funny. Yes. <laughs> And, and sometimes this will make you laugh. Sometimes I stress about my hashtag. I think, is that funny enough or does it apply or, you know, I know. I know, right? First world problems here, folks, okay? <laughs> All right, so notice I'm taking them off here because I cut them together so now I can sew them together, okay? I'm gonna take off the little strings. Oh, this is a great question. People ask us all the time, like how do you clean your dyes? We have a dye pick that you can use. 
Yes, but watch know. this. <gasps> Do you know this this trick, Emily? I don't think I know this trick. Oh, here, hold on this here. This is my first time. Are you really doing gonna do what I think you're gonna do? Yeah. Oh, Watch this. What a clever. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get little strings stuck on your thigh. Sure. So just get your little. Um, lint roller. Lint roller, I knew there was a name for it. <laughs> hold on here, I gotta find the end. That's the, it's like the tape, right? Mm-hmm. Hold on here. Okay. I'm gonna tear it here. There it goes. No, nah, maybe not. What kind of lint roller is this? I love Good live grief. TV. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We're gonna find the end here. Oh See. my oh here we go. No, Are it's not. It's okay. Watch are... this. No, I do not need any help, Brock. <laughs> Okay. While you're doing that, I have okay, a fun look, look, hashtag. Look, look. And then I'm gonna give it to Brock and he's gonna fix it for us. <laughs> oh, okay. there you go. This is how you do it. <gasps> and then it cleans all the, and then do your shirt. Okay, here you go, Brock, knock yourself out. <laughs> okay. All right, yes, you were gonna say something before I. Oh, no, I just thought that there was a very funny hashtag that from Barb, she says hers is hashtag you think. You think? <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that one too. I think I'm gonna have to start <laughs> incorporating that in my everyday life. Bar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my um, that. my sister's has funny hashtags. She she's the best hashtagger. Mm -hmm. I just think she's fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're so awesome. I'm laying these down, finding that nice lengthwise grain. I want to make sure I'm cutting on the lengthwise grain here. Yes and then I'm covering my whole shape. All right, so we're gonna cut these and call it good because then we can like sew for days. Hey, oh don't boy. forget to join me and Erica on Tuesday, August 2nd at 12 noon Central Time as we launch our newest Die to Try. It is a new month, so we have a new Die to Try, which is so fun. Uh, be sure and register on our events page for the chance to win prizes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, Emily, that this new Die to Try, okay, I have one string right here. What is happening here? Um, <laughs> the newest Die to Try is so fun. I'm really excited about it. No, I tried to sneak onto the set, you know, but yes, I wasn't. I wasn't allowed. You, she was not allowed. Did a TikTok on that. Yeah, so where that'll be. Yeah, do you out follow us on TikTok, year. folks? You should follow us on TikTok. Totally should. Emily and Morgan do funny things. <laughs> we all do funny things. We all do funny and things. And Pam's included too. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, who knew? Who knew in life? Okay, yeah, so right. here's all my pieces. Now we are gonna totally um, chain piece for days. Um, I do need to, Emily, while you do that, I'm gonna plug in my iron. All right. And actually we have a really good question from okay. Tammy W. Okay. She says, is there a trick to keep the small pieces to not twist? It's a hard, I have a hard time keeping my seams straight, probably while going through the, the sewing machine. Oh, is there a trick? Um, I have a tendency, if I chain piece, mm -hmm. then I feel like it doesn't You kind of get into like as much. a rhythm and it just Yeah, if goes. you try to like lift up your presser foot all the time and, and try to do that. Okay, hang on. Oh, I love that. And we have, let's see what other hashtags we have as well. Let's see. Oh, Marsha and Deborah say Quilt the World 2022. Oh, hey, you want to talk about that while I'm sewing here? Yeah, for a good cause. So if you use the hat, if you, um, we have a, a campaign called Quilt the World 2022 going on where, um, you know, we have partnered with Moda Fabrics. Moda, not just for grunge. That yeah. should be my favorite hashtag. Exactly. So um, we switch off weekly between Moda and AccuQuilt's employees and go-getters doing, yes. um, doing projects and donations to the charities of their choice. And so if, if everybody else or others want to participate, um, you guys can... Ha Post your quilt um, with your charity that you're donating using the hashtag quilt the world 2022. And we're actually um, doing prizes, prize drawings for um, those who use that hashtag. Right, we give away um, AccuQuilt points and points to uh, dollars for Moda fabric. Yep. 
exactly. And at the end, there's a big, huge price, right, Emily? There is. Yeah, it's going to be a big old price. I think it's like $500 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, really and I, it's just amazing. Exactly. So if you're looking for a good way to, if you donate your quilts to charity, mm -hmm. use the hashtag Quilt the World 2022 and we'll... We'll get you registered. Yep, and you can have as many Is entries coming, as Brock? you want. Not as easy as it looks. Brock's trying to fix <laughs> my. <laughs> Brock's trying to fix my. Uh, th uh, lint roll, and apparently he's uh, better at it than I am. Okay, so I'm camera. just chain piecing for days, quilters. Okay, and once I get a good selection of some, I'm going to start sewing them together. <laughs> okay, so this is just such an easy project and I found that again I just used my scraps it wasn't a project that I felt like oh I need to go buy new fabric for mm -hmm. the new fabric is always fun okay let's I don't know I have a new resolution I don't know if I should say this because what if I break it I have a resolution till the end of the year because last week we talked about you know how many projects did you need mm -hmm. um to finish before the holidays. Doggone it. Let's see. Lost my bobbin thread here, hold on. Let's see, and we do have a comment from Sherry um, saying the difficulty we're having with cutting right now doesn't inspire confidence in the cutter system. Can we kind of address the... the uh, tell the me what the problem the, is. Well, she's saying the difficulty you're having with cutting right now, and I guess I'm... So tell us specifically, I, okay, yeah. this is live, right, so my... Sewing machine, of course. Yeah, if maybe we could have a little bit more clarification because I'd love to love to help answer the question. I'm just, I guess I'm, I need a little bit. We more. don't know what's wrong. Yeah, we're not sure what the difficulty exactly because I mean, at, at least from what I was seeing, I, I saw you lay, you know, you laid your charm squares out to make sure you're covering all of the, all, you know, all, the whole portion of the die with the blades on it, and then it's, you know, laid that cutting mat on top, and when it ran through the cutter, that just went like butter. Like butter. La butter. But yes, if there is um, a little yeah, bit more us, clarification, oh, Sherry, so maybe because I know. cut those strings. Oh, that could have been it. Maybe the because okay. there is a little sp a square left yeah. over in the in the center. Yeah. So all of those layers of fabric each had one Can little square. It? Yeah. So see right here in the center, it cuts these tiny little um, dog ears off. I'll lay one here so you can see. Okay, and that's where my string caught. But it was just one string and I did six layers. So I would much rather cut one string than 96 half square triangles. For sure. Okay, so maybe that was the question. So it's not really a problem with the cutting, it's just simply um, every now and then you get that string. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna tell you if you're cutting, what is happening here? Um, hang on, we gotta sew for a minute. Um, <laughs> if you're having trouble cutting your pieces cleanly, I'm gonna ask you, when was the last time you changed your mat? Mm, that's a great Because, point. okay, these are sewing. Um, because the mat, if the mat is used and it has, you know, it, you can get hundreds of cuts out of your mats, mm -hmm. thousands of cuts out of your dies. So if you're, if your shapes aren't cutting cleanly, the question you should see is, do I need to change my cutting mat? Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. Now, because I'm going to tell you, the fact that I can cut 96 half square triangles and just two passes through the cutter is a miracle. Exactly. Okay. Oh, she was referring to use, needing to use scissors to, to finish cutting the pieces. Oh, yeah. Apart. I didn't want to pull those strings because these are such little pieces. Yeah that if you pull those strings, sometimes the whole little thing unravels. Yeah, and when you are cutting, you know, that many layers of fabric, I mean, one one little string, that's, you know, I mean, yeah. compared to all those dog ears that you'd have to cut off and, yeah. Yeah, yeah don't panic. Saving lots of labor there. Yep. Um, oh, Judy wants to know, why do you never use pins? Oh, because I am not Erica. <laughs> That, that is the, the true answer. Um, why don't I use pins? Here's why. When I learned to quilt, I didn't learn with pins. Oh, sure. I just, uh, the gal who taught me how to quilt, 
just taught me how to quilt, you know? And so um, some people come from a garment background. I'm trying not to get my same colors, could you tell? Um, they come from a garment background, like Erica comes from a total garment background. Okay. And so she is used to pinning, you know, for that. Sure, yeah. So, okay. And I just need one that is not the same like the others. There we go. Okay. All right. So I was able to cut and sew for the project when I was making it mm -hmm. like half hour. I just sewed Ooh. 96 half square triangles together. I just oh my gosh. watched a little TV. It's just so okay. quick. All right. So one of the questions that we get a lot is which AccuQuilt products and dyes should I buy first? And I would always say start with a cube, okay? They come in seven different sizes and create endless possibilities for projects. We have a product on our website called the Ready, Set, Go. It comes with our Go Fabric Cutter, our eight inch cube, and our two and a half inch strip die. Talk about all you have to do is add fabric, right? Literally. So everything you need is already together. All right, so now I have, um, I just need eight of these to make my little four patch for our project. So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna press them open. Emily, will you tell us what, if we have questions, first of all. Yeah, let me check and see. And if not, um, what are people's hashtags? Oh, could poor qual, uh, Carrie asks, could poor quality effect, uh, fabric affect the cutting? It can. Um, sometimes my scraps are not, you know, they're less, they're, how do I put that? the quality is not as good as other fabrics. So yeah, uh, you wanna use really good fabric mm -hmm. and you wanna use really good thread. Mm -hmm. And since I started working at AccuQuilt, I just celebrated my 10th anniversary, which is super fun. Okay. Um, I don't, you, I use good thread and I use good fabric all the time. Yes. Yeah, okay, but that's a good question. That is. Yeah, I. But speaking of cubes, I'm just obsessed with the five inch that I've been. Hey, do you want to show everybody what you made with I would your scraps? Love to. Yeah. So these were both completely scrappy. So this one reminds me of like a Hawaiian T-shirt. It's very chaotic. It is so cool, and it's tulip pink fabric. It is. It's tulip pink, and it, what I did was I literally just flipped through. So actually, in the Ready Set Go, it will come with a cube book by Eleanor Burns. Yes. And all I did was flip through the book and pick a few uh, blocks that I liked and said, okay, you know, my, my scraps will fit this, it'll fit this, it'll fit that. And so I have, this is part of the quilt top. Look and then that is. I also made a, um, I'm gonna attempt, and I don't even know if I'm brave enough to attempt this, a double-sided quilt. Oh, you go girl, because I've never made one. And, and what characters are on here? This would be Dwight Schrute from The Office. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I mean, when you think of all the fabric in life you can get. And I mean, again, same thing I picked. I mean, some of them were the same as the other one, but it's kind of cool to see, you know, the same blocks just in different colorways and different, you know, how it just completely changes the look. Color is amazing. And at the end of August, we're gonna have a really cool show on Wednesday where I've taken a photograph and then from that photograph, I chose colorways and a color palette mm -hmm. and, a, and a project. So how fun is that? So Good job, cool. Emily, working hard on the weekends, man. Thank you much, thank you much. <laughs> Listen, it was too hot last week to do anything but sew and eat ice cream, of which I did both. It's the truth. I had ice cream last night too. So did I. Oh, what's your, now what's your favorite topping on ice cream? I gotta well, ask. I've never liked toppings, but I like ice cream with lots of things in it. Oh yeah. So we have this one, it's called Peanut Butter Park from Briars, and it has like chocolate ice cream with peanut butter cups and peanut butter chips and- Oh my gosh. I don't know. We That's always get to talking about food know, no matter what. <laughs> okay. So Quilters, did you watch yesterday's show pairing the five inch and 10 inch cubes together? We have bundles available featuring the five inch cube, including the Go Cubes five inch exclusive on point bundle. It's perfect for quilters wanting to get started the, with the five inch mix and match cube, its companion sets and setting triangles for turning your designs on point. You can check out all the free patterns and all the other bundles at, from yesterday's show at accuquilt.com party. 
Don't forget today I'm giving away one of our Go Numbers and Symbol Die. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win, okay? All right, so I'm gonna sew these together. I'm gonna make sure I lay them out right. And while I'm laying them out, Emily, do you wanna tell us what people's yes. um, hashtags are? Okay, this is so fun. So Barb G, so the same gal who said the hashtag you think, she also says, you can't cure stupid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And do we have others? Because I'm going to lay these out and then I'm going to sew my house together. Yeah, I love Deanna's. Hers is hashtag 211 and it's I'm a Nana 211 grandchildren. Oh, 11 grandchildren. That's oh, so fun. Sweet. Yeah, I just I'm have the two. And one of which doesn't really love me. I was telling Emily, Aries, <laughs> Aries doesn't know to love me yet. He He's will. He's learning to. He's. Gosh, he... I hope so. <laughs> when Oakley was that age, she, I was her favorite person ever. Okay, so I've laid out my pinwheels. I'm gonna fold them in half and I'm gonna sew a good quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. I press my seams open. Emily, we get that question a lot, right? Of yeah. how do you know? How do you know whether to press your seams open or to the dark side? Mm -hmm. How do you know, Emily? Do you know? Do you remember? I just follow the pattern instructions because they're yeah. always going to tell you. Yeah. The even in the even in that cube book that I was using, it made it so simple. It was oh gosh, right. the blocks came together nicely. Right. Now, when um, the lovely Eric and I, before we released this die, we made this one in the mini stocking die. Uh, we made some videos, okay? So you can always go to our website, and if you look at the um, numbers and symbols, you can see the video that Eric and I made, mm -hmm. okay? And we talk about things like pre-fusing fabric and how to add the fusible, okay? So here's my top blocks. Here's my bottom. Always make sure when I'm sewing pinwheels. <laughs> The other day I was sewing pinwheels and I sewed a bunch wrong because I was watching TV more than I was concentrating. All right, are people telling us their fun hashtags? I'm ex I love two of 11. You are gonna love this one. Okay. So Beth C has two of them. Okay. One is hashtag the lovely Erica. No way! Yep, the second one is hashtag pretty awesome Pam. No way! <laughs> okay, I totally, totally need to have something that says that. Beth, we get, we're going to make a table runner. Like, seriously? Oh my gosh, that would be yeah, so Yeah, right? With the, the hashtag pretty awesome Pam, is that pretty what it awesome is? Pretty awesome Pam. Gosh. That's so sweet. Love it. I that love is it. so fun. Okay. Thank you, Beth. And the lovely Erica is the lovely Erica. Um, I gave her that name years and years ago when I was traveling. Um, okay, I'm gonna press in opposite directions so that my mm -hmm. seams nest. Um, I was traveling to um, a quilt shop and Erica was then in charge of you know, our retailers. She worked with a lot of our retailers. Mm -hmm. And I see, here we go. Make sure I press them the right way. Um, and I called her the lovely Erica and that name has stuck ever since. Okay, so now I press in the opposite direction so my seams will nest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the same here. But yeah, all of those uh, videos and all of that instruction, we have assembly instructions. Like if you get a new die that has like a bob die, mm -hmm all on that page on our website are the assembly instructions and all the things you need to make yeah. it. Okay? It makes it all right, so, so now I'm gonna sew our little pinwheel blocks together. There they go. Sometimes whoever asks me if I pinned, when I get to this point when I'm doing a whole bunch of them, I usually pin so I remember which side I'm supposed to, <laughs> which side I'm supposed to sew down. There you go. Okay. All right. See, we have some fun questions coming okay, in. Okay, here we go. So when we were talking about, you know, nice, good or, or nicer fabric to, to purchase, right. she was, uh, Annette is wondering, how do you know if you're getting good fabric? Oh, that is a great question. Mm -hmm. I am going to tell you that good fabric is going to feel thicker. It's going to be more dense. I'm going to tell you that 
if you buy your fabric from your local quilt shop rather than a big box store, mm -hmm. chances are the fabric you're getting from your quilt shop is going to be better. That's true. Okay. And you're going to pay a little bit more for it, you know, but it is well worth it. Yeah. So that's something to consider and support local. I'm all about supporting our little local quilt shop. Same. Now, and Robin wanted to confirm, you, do you use only cotton thread? Um, I use, yes, I use Aurifil cotton thread. And I, the reason I only ever use cotton thread is because I 99.9% .9 of the time sew with cotton fabric. Mm -hmm. You know, I cut cotton fabric. Right. So... Yeah. Things yeah. Let's go together. Um, I, I had a quilt that was quilted by my good friend Christina, and she used um, this glow in the dark thread. I know, she did a cool job. Wow. And it was kind of a, um, it was on my skull quilt, and it was a cotton poly blend so that it could glow in the dark. Oh, how fun is that? I know, that? but glow in the dark thread, holy smokes, how cool is that? Gosh, well, I, I mean, the fact that you can now bedazzle quilts is, is blowing my yeah. mind enough. Like, there's so yeah. many new cool things you can do with quilts, it's unbelievable. So in the center, I'm pressing my seams open so my little pieces lay flat. Okay, so now I have my two pinwheel blocks. Mm -hmm. Okay, just so you know, I cut and sewed all of my pinwheels in the time that Emily and I have been talking about hashtags here this morning. Um, now we're going to do some background squares, okay? And the background squares in this particular quilt are white, okay? And they go opposite of the pinwheels to make a four patch like this. So we're going to cut some of those. And then where quilt life goes, there's a section that has the pattern, which is this little blue and white pattern and the solid. And that is a section where, yeah, see right there. Thank you, Justin, that are like four patches. So I'm gonna show you kind of a trick to do that. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna take my fabric. I just need four layers, so I'm gonna, I just need two, but I'm gonna cut four layers, okay? All right, and I'm gonna find this. <laughs> So I did the exact same thing. Oh, hello, Mason Heller. We will not talk to you. Okay. Measure from here to here. Cut a width of fabric. This is that lengthwise green that you always want to cut on. Okay. Run it through the cutter. Perfect. Now, don't forget, all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. So you can go back and watch one if you can. So like yesterday's show, if you missed it, you should for sure go back and watch it. Full of really fun inspiration. Okay. Totally. And I have to look because I'm not watching the pattern. Okay, so this and this and this and this. How cute. I know, look at how fun and easy that is. <laughs> it is so easy. All right, so now I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the pinwheels. I'm gonna sew the solid to the pinwheel. And I'm gonna give you a little tip that I do. When I do this, I sew from the pinwheel side so that I can see where the um, seams are mm -hmm. to make sure that I don't catch the seams. That's a great tip. Okay. Ooh, now I'm going to pin this one so I don't forget. All right, Emily, tell everybody about our blog. Oh, my gosh. Do we have a fantastic we blog? We have a great blog. Okay, so our go-getters and AccuQuilt staffers all partner up to contribute and write these amazing blogs. Mm -hmm. um, they have exclusive patterns that you can only find there, so be sure to visit blog.accuquilt.com. Yes. Um, this week, um, which is actually kind of perfect because y'all were talking about the chimney sweep yesterday. We were. And there is a blog um, that just came out on the 25th about how to make variations of the chimney sweep blog. And Larkspur Quilts, who's our good friend from Larkspur Quilts. Yes. She did one. Mm -hmm. So if, um, yeah, if y'all want some inspiration or want to kind of change things up a little bit, that's a great blog to check out. Gina Jempasa. Gina Jempasa, yeah. She showed us one yesterday. Um, but Gina isn't from Larkspur Quilts, but whoever is from Larkspur Quilts in my head, I can't think of who it is. Um, <laughs> she also did part of our blog about the chimney sweep die, which finishes to 10 inches. Mm -hmm. 
such a great blog. Amazing. Just so much fun and inspiration. All right, here we go. Take my little iron. Oh boy, oh boy. And when I made this, <laughs> I sewed all my half square triangles together and then I sewed, then I made four patches and sewed all of those together. Okay? Perfect. Just making sure. Okay, now on this, I'm gonna press towards the white mm -hmm. because then there's less bulk. Oh, sure. Right? Okay. All right, Emily, do people have fun hashtags and how come? Oh, they sure do. Um, okay. Pat is hashtag dog lady. Oh, she so can hang with you because you're the cat lady. Exactly, we can hang out. Um, Margaret says hashtag AccuQuilt applique. Oh, I like that one. That's really, really cute. That's fun. And then let's see, Cynthia's, I love this one. Living life limitlessly. Oh yeah. That's a great hashtag. Yeah. Okay. I'm checking too to make sure we see if we have any questions. There we go. Okay, so I'm lining this up. All right, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the section for Quilt Life, because that one uses our, um, our square again, mm -hmm. but this time with two different little things on it. Okay, and then, I'm liking the hashtags. And then Mary uh, wonders if we can cut vinyl with AccuQuilt. Yeah, you can. Or can. I believe like better to start with like one layer probably, right? Right. Yeah. Well, and I'm gonna tell you anytime you have um, anything that's thicker than cotton, you wanna come like one or two layers, okay. okay? Yeah. All right, so my pinwheel block is sewn. Let's do my, show you my trick here. Hang on, yeah, I'm gonna come back and do that one. So now I need to sew my, where it says quilt life. Okay, that's a section. And you're gonna take, you're gonna do the exact same trip. Trip, trick, okay. This is, so I'm gonna put right sides together with the white and then my little white print. And I just need four. So I'm gonna cut four right now. Here we go. Wow. It's really as easy. I'm looking at it. I only okay. used a couple shapes, that's so nice. Well, it's so easy to cut and so fast mm -hmm. and so accurate every single time. Okay. So now I'm gonna come here. Here we go. All right, and do we have any other questions, Miss Emily? Yeah, um, okay. Miss Sue is wondering if you have all of the cubes and companion sets. Do I have all, oh, me personally? Yeah. Um, I, okay, so I'm gonna say yes to that, um, but I'm gonna tell you why. So one of the great jobs that I get to do here at AccuQuilt is that I get to test dies and cubes so my cubes aren't in pretty boxes, um, which yours always come in, um, but, and they say like tested and approved and stuff on the back, but yeah, I do, because that way I can make projects and things when I'm not doing live shows. Yeah. And do I have a favorite size? Ooh. Um, I'm gonna tell you now, <laughs> I, I, I like 12 inch cubes because they're nice and big, but, um, I really do use all the cubes all the time. Like I use six and nine together and you know, it just really depends. So yeah. All right. Now here's the section that the quilt life is gonna go on. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my pinwheel blocks. I press towards the white and now I'm gonna sew. Okay. 
Ooh, and Lois Ann has an interesting question as well. Okay, Lois Ann, ask us. She is wondering, um, or asking to please um, speak to when we need scant quarter inches versus a regular full quarter inch. Ah, that is a great question. Mm -hmm. And Emily, do you know what a scant quarter inch is? It's like slightly smaller than the quarter inch, is that yep, right? just a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. And I am going to tell you that unless we tell you in the pattern to sew a scant quarter inch, mm -hmm. you really truly want a true quarter inch seam. And Emily had a great experience when she first started sewing bobs together <laughs> about um, what happens if you don't have a quarter inch. Yeah, I, uh, I was pretty cranky when I realized that I hadn't been using a quarter inch foot the entire time I'd been quilting. But yeah. Now that I am, it's like, Eureka. <laughs> well, it's like big magic, right? It's it like, is. Oh my goodness. Totally. All right, so to finish the, the pillow top, follow the pattern to complete the center section, which is this right here, and the borders. And now we have free embroidery files available. Let me show them to you real quick. Um, that are available on our AccuQuilt.com, okay? So here's a sample of, oh, I can just do it here. Thanks, Justin. So this is a sample of our motif stitch, which is kind of fun. Here is that great, great blank, uh, um, satin stitch. Look at this. I mean, I was nervous when we got these tiny little pieces. I thought, hmm, but it works great. And then our good friends at V-Stitch have some that are for purchase, mm -hmm. which are, let me show you this one. This one's kind of cool. Ooh, look at this purple one. Oh. So wow. it's really a, kind of a thick, border okay super cute so these are for um if you have an embroidery machine but if you're doing raw edge quilting you would quilt the top of the pillow before you add the symbols and letters okay, okay? now there's a process okay so now that we've made kind of some blocks that go in our um, pillow let's um cut some symbols and letters mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna move this out of the way all right, so the first thing I want to do is from the numbers and symbols die, I just want to cut that hashtag. So I have taken my black fabric and I've already pre-fused the back. I'm using soft fuse, mm -hmm. which is available on our website. We have lots of different kinds of varieties of fusible and irons and things on our website. All of the things yeah. and the stuff. All right, <laughs> so now because I'm just cutting one shape, I am going to just use a smaller mat. Once I've added fusible to the back of that, I don't have to worry about lengthwise grain anymore. So nice. Right? It's just beautiful. Okay. And look at this. Okay. Oh my gosh. I know, isn't it so fun? Yeah, okay, I do love this fabric. I've made it for other things. Okay, now. Let's talk about, are we good? Watch out for the middle. Oh, wait. Oh, punch out the middle of the hashtag. Good thing Brock is here. Oh, look at that. When? It was hard to see because of the, <laughs> oh, the polka dots. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay. Just that. for Brock, I'm going to leave it so on his desk. Tiny. Okay, now these are the two inch uppercase alphabet. So again, I've already pre fused my fabric and I've just cut little squares. Okay, so now I'm going to do Quilt Life Q U I. And Emily, do you know how many layers of pre fused fabric you can use? Okay, isn't it, okay, again, I'm not. Just think about it, just think it about it. Four? Four is right. <laughs> again, history major. Yeah. <laughs> that is not Four. my Four. <laughs> okay, so oh, okay. quilt life, and again, I don't have to worry about lengthwise green. Okay. Two L's, two yeah. I's. Yes. <laughs> I tell ya. Okay. And I'm going to use a big 10 by 24 mat because I'm going to cut all of the shapes. Okay. 
So think about some fun things you would like to make with your hashtags. Mm -hmm. Do we have any more fun ones? Okay, I'm really excited about this one. Um, Missy D said hashtag enchanting Emily. Hashtag enchanting Emily. Oh man. Missy. There you go. You flatter me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much. That's so sweet. Enchanting Emily. I always call you the amazing Emily. I like yes, enchanting better. I love okay, that. So this is why we slide don't lift because the sh pieces stick to the right. die board, but it's okay. <laughs> We're going to just pull them right off to yeah, the mat. Yeah, as long as they're in the same place, right? Yep. <laughs> just as long as, and always, 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 always. When I slide, don't lift, or when I lift and don't slide, pieces get stuck and then I lose them. Mm -hmm. Right? They're always at the bottom of my pile of stuff. Stacey C has a couple of cute hashtags to share. Okay. Hers are hashtag no mistakes and hashtag creative twist. Oh, that's nice. Um, the lovely Erica bought a new home this year, so her hashtag is fresh start, which I think is Aww, fun. Oh, hey, Brock, look what I did. Oh, hold on. I took the middle out of the queue. Okay, so I have one little thread here. I'm surely not gonna pull it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Come on. I gotta find let's the see. one thread. Okay, do we have any other questions? Yeah, let's see here. Oh, Beth says, I have terrible luck with Fusible. It never wants to stick. Is there a trick? Yeah, follow the instructions because sometimes I don't leave it on there long enough. Oh. And then it gets cranky and then it doesn't stick. Okay, so we're gonna show you how we're gonna iron some of these down real quick. I mean, look at the queue. Oh. The queue is the best. It really is. Okay, so now I'm gonna just take this off because I have pre-fused it. Now it's sticky on the back. And we have lots of different ones. You can use ones um, that you don't have to iron down. It just sticks to the fabric, which yeah. I think is super cool. Really cool. Okay. All right, I'm pulling this off real quick. Oh, and you you meant you kind of mentioned this earlier um, with like Raj quilting and things like that. But Tammy's wondering what you know. What if we don't have an embroidery machine? Yeah, you could just totally go over the letters. When I made the project, I don't have an embroidery machine at home. And so what I ended up doing was I just quilted all over the letters. Okay. Yeah, all over quilting. That's perfect. Okay. All right, look at this. Okay. Oh, look at them go. We're gonna totally iron this down. And I think that my favorite part about, you know, the way that this lines up is that because it's a four patch and you can see those, you know, those lines and like, it's so easy to just center them mm -hmm. in each little row as opposed right. to, you know, guesstimating where they're supposed to be. Right, yeah. And I do like the tiny little pattern fabric in the quilt. Yeah. You know? Just adds a little bit of extra oomph. Okay, there you go. And you continue to make it. All right, so once you've added the symbols and the letters, follow the pattern to finish the pillow. Be sure and finish and share your finished projects with us on your social media platforms. We would love to see whatever hashtag you made. Mm -hmm. Hey, quilters, are you going to the Long Beach Quilt Show next week? Look for producer Joe and I. We will be there filming all the amazing quilts. We would love to say hello. If you want to see AccuQuilt at your local quilt show, check out the events page. There's a section in there that says, hey, what show should we go to? Let us know where you want to see us. We'd love to come hang out with you. Don't forget to join me and Erica on Tuesday, August 12th at 12 noon central time as we launch our newest dye to try. Register on the event page for the chance to win prizes. And quilters, don't forget the new Go Numbers and Symbol dye bundles are available, including the Go Classic two inch alphabet numbers and symbols die bundle. That's the die that I used just now to make our little um, hashtag. Get double reward points on all your purchases, purchases today at AccuQuilt.com. All right, Emily, the, what are you? The enchanted, enchanting Emily? Enchanting Emily. Okay, will you <laughs> announce our winner? I would love to. All right, our winner today of the five inch, or, no numbers and symbols, I'm sorry. There you go. The numbers and symbols, if I could get a drum roll, please. 
Sophia H. of Lebanon, PA. Well done. Congratulations. You're going to love this. All right, so be sure to join us for next week's AccuQuilt Live at 12 noon Central Time. I will be in Long Beach at the quilt show, so the lovely Erica will be showing you how to make a really fun project using our newest die to try. She has some really great inspiration. Be sure to register for, on the events page for the chance to win prizes. Oh I know, I'm really excited about it. Okay, great job on our team today. So offsite, we have Katie and Lauren and Morgan who are helping in the comment section. Here in the studio, we have Brock, who apparently can fix the lint roller, and Joe and Justin, and the enchanting Emily. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. We'll see you next time.